Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I'm back with a little short video about how to paint a cheeseburger. The sad news is I got a big glob of something on the camera on my GoPro. This is I'm shooting this with my Canon, which is nice and clear, but sometimes I get stuff on the lens, and with the GoPro you can't see <laughs> you know what's going on because you don't have anything to look at. It's like here's the GoPro here and there's no window. They do have some they make with a window so you can see which I might invest in later but just so you know when the GoPro stuff comes it it is diminished in quality but here I'm just laying in I got the plate and then I got the character's hand and just kind of building the burger from the bottom up You do the bottom bun and then the lettuce and then the tomato and the onion and the cheese hanging off and just fill it in so here I am gonna draw it in. This is the cheese and the burger and tomato and onion and the bottom bun. And you can always change it, you know, with your finger. I was gonna not I was gonna redo this video, but I don't know the next time I'm gonna be painting a hamburger, so I tried to make the best of it and uh, but you'll see. So yeah you just kinda sketch the burger out. And I sort of delineate the line that shows the bottom of the bun that's white and the top that's dark. You can't see it here, but I'm making like kind of like steam coming off of it, you know, so like it's hot, a hot burger. <laughs> So here I switched to the GoPro and at first it seems fine, you know, I'm kind of redoing his hand, trying to figure out how I want to have his hand on there. I think what I did is I redid it because I, the hand was in the wrong position so I was trying to recenter it because it looked like the burger was going to just tip over. The balance was off. Here I am just going in and painting another coat because I want to co cover up the searching lines. And I always make burgers huge. They're way, way, way oversized. <laughs> and now here I'm trimming it up. <clears throat> so I got his hand in a position now where it looks more balanced. Now here's where I'm going in and you can see there's a big there's something on the lens which is really annoying but the f I already did the tomato the tomato you just do red and then you do some kind of white highlights here I'm going in with a sort of a a, a warm yellowish brown color bunch of wild kids <laughs> so that's the base color you put in the the yellowish brown color and then now I'm going with the white on the bottom because that's where the bun is still it isn't really cooked on the on the bottom part the bottom of the bun and this is what you know makes a lot of believability in the burger is you is you're working on the bun a lot and it's just all wet on wet now I'm going with a darker sort of uh, yellowish brown and that's going to be the area that's cooked you know or it's got you know been more cooked or more heat and you just kind of model it in and you just go back and forth you get a feel for it but you can see us starting to become more realistic and I hope this reads in the video it's like the screen I'm looking at right now it's really blocked by that glob on the thing now you, on the bottom one the same thing you go in with the, the darker color and you just go back and forth with the three colors you know the white and then the mid-tone color and then the dark one you just go back and forth back and forth now I'm doing some cheese which is pretty much kind of an orangish color and then you can sort of highlight it with white a little but you don't want it you want it to stand out from the bun so you want to make sure you got a fair amount of orange too And at the end of this video, it's pretty quick, you'll see the, the finished product more clearly. <clears throat> and 
at the very bottom, I sort of trapped it with a, a dark brown line. <clears throat> Now I'm doing the burger. The burger is kind of, you take black and brown and red sort of and you just kind of push it in there and you know, and then you go in with a little bit of darker color. Could have been a little bit of dark, darker I think. Added more black maybe. Because sometimes it has barbecue lines too. So I'm just working on it, adding more black and the shadow under the cheese. And then some highlights, you take sort of a pinkish color, which is the color of hamburger, you know, when you don't, when it's not cooked. God, the thing is so annoying. <laughs> now I'm doing the lettuce, you just go in with the green, kind of wave it around, you know, like this, just like a piece of lettuce. <laughs> There's a lot of people that day coming by. And you go in with a little bit darker green. Put in your shadows and stuff. That green is kind of too much blue in it. It should have more, more yellowish, like a limey green. A lime green. Let I mean it communicates. So I almost got it done here. And then I'm putting in the shadows on the plate and stuff. So there it is. It came out pretty good. And you can see how it's modeled. Like I don't have a totally even blend on the bun. You kind of, you know, move the brush around when you blend it and it makes it look more realistic. And I didn't outline it. You can also outline them sometimes too. But anyway, that's it. I hope that was good despite the, the bad, the big glitch on the on the window. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, subscribe, share the video if you want and uh, check out Patreon too. Like I really could use the support on Patreon and uh, it helps me make more videos. So if you're getting anything out of my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's as low as five dollars a month. It's like less than a less than a coffee or a, a latte. <laughs> Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.